Let us pray. Each and the rock of ages, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Alpha, the Omega. Glory and adoration be to him. We thank you. Thank you for the privilege you have given to us in our Uma individuals. We thank you for great salvation that you died for. And with the promise of your hope of coming back the second time, to you be the glory. Take absolute control of this ministration in your precious name. Amen. The scripture reading to us, this ministration, is taken from the book of Acts, the Acts of Apostle, the ninth chapter of the King James Fashion of the Holy Bible. Acts of Apostle, ninth chapter. I read from verses 1 to 17, please. And Paul yet breathing out, treating and slaughtering against the disciples of the Lord, went into the high priest and the cell of him led us to Damascus, to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them back unto Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there sang round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth. And he heard a voice say unto him, So, so, why persecuted thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I'm Jesus, him thou persecuted. It is hard for thee to see against the pricks. And he trembled and asked to this, said, Lord, what can I mean to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. And the man which journeyed with him stood speechless, here in a forest, but seen a man. And so arose from the earth, and where his eyes were opened, he saw no man, but they led by him by the end and brought him into Damascus. And he was three days without sight, and neither did eat nor drink. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias. And to him said the Lord in Ephesians, Adanias, and he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the streets, which is called straight, and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tatos, for behold, he prayeth. And uh, as seen in the vision, a man named Ananas coming in and putting his hand on me that he might receive his sight. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I've heard by many of these men how much evil he has done to thy says at Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priest to burn all that call on by their name. But the Lord said unto him, Go in their way, for it is a chosen face unto me, to, he, to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. And Ananias went his way, and entered into his eyes, and putting his hand on him, said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus, that appeared unto thee in the way as thou comest, has sent me, that thou might receive thy sight, and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May God bless his precious world in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray for the second part of uh, the ministration, which is purely sermon ministration. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you 
We adore you once more time. I want to go to the ministration. Regarding to the scripture of this passage, Lord, may you minister for your divine sanctuary to myself as your vessel. So that here I will benefit tremendously during this ministration. To you be the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord and praise the living Jesus, the omnipresent and omnipresent Lord, who can do all things. To you be the glory. Amen and amen. We thank God for what he has been doing in our lives, for our daily agnivers in our lives. We have nothing to give more than to thank him with our tongues, our speech, to give praises to him for his goodness, for his mercy, endurance forever. To him the glory. Hallelujah. The theme of the message or the title today is Deliverance from Persecution. We have been preaching on deliverance. This is purely the theme of this ministry. The anointing of Christ delivers us from the bandage that has been inheritance from the Garden of Eden. And we are using the blood of Jesus Christ to wash us clean from this bandage through deliverance from his blood. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Deliverance are of different dimensions. But I will summarize them in three categories right here. We have affliction deliverance. And there's another one, financial deliverance. And another one, the most important, the vital one, spiritual deliverance. Among all three categories, let's take that of affliction. That of is related to sicknesses or diseases in different dimensions. We don't want to name them right here. But in the name of Jesus Christ, whoever under the influence of my voice, hearing my voice today, I stretch my hand forth that such a person washing right now will be delivered. In the name of Jesus, either headache, whatever sicknesses that I cannot mention right here, viva, ainia, whatever I cannot mention now, as I wash you right now, may you be delivered. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen and amen. We are coming back to the prayer. Let me go to the second, second chapter, which is financial deliverance. Financial deliverance is just basically on the monetary aspect. The monetary aspect is related to your business aspects, or jobs, or anything that will bring income for, to find the lasting solution to the financial situation of individuals, companies, or country, or the world at large. Praise the Lord. Under the financial aspect of deliverance, poverty needs deliverance. That is when finance comes to poverty, poverty eradicates. It vanishes. And that's, if, as I'm talking right now, everybody, let's say majority of the whole world, we need financial deliverance. Praise the Lord, including me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We need financial deliverance, but it's not basically we hope on deliverance of money alone. There's other deliverance coming up, but the deliverance of finance is very, very important. It plays a vital role in the life of individuals. Even in other business ventures, in any area we can think of, finance cannot be accepted. It plays a vital role. No, nothing moves without finance. So today I'm praying if we or if you are under financial bondage, be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Be released in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are jobless right now, you need finance, you need to get a job. Get your job right now, in the name of Jesus. If your business is pulling down, retrogress in your business aspect, in the name of Jesus, relieve your deliverance, in the name of Jesus. Release your deliverance, in the name of Jesus, in any area that we need financial deliverance. May the Lord find lasting solution to it. And it will be so in Jesus' name. Amen. The third chapter, which is, 
which plays fighter role now, is spiritual deliverance. Spiritual deliverance is very, very important as far as deliverance aspect is concerned. Physically, we need food and money to provide that to nourish your body. That is why when you are eating regularly, everything is pretty fine. Hardly you can be sick because when you eat regularly. But the spiritual aspect of it is very, very important. That is why Jesus is involved in this situation. The spiritual aspect is lacking somewhere. Most majority of the whole world, the spiritual aspect, aspect of deliverance is lacking there. And we need to find solution to the spiritual aspect. Without wasting our time, we are taking the life of somebody who lacks spiritual deliverance. But he persecutes. This gentleman took up a journey in a certain period of time, and they back up on his journey to go and be carrying evil ass. He was going on this journey. He had been doing it for so quite a long time. I'm talking about the persecution. Deliverance from persecution. But once upon a time, he was on this journey going. As he was moving with his men, follow him. You can imagine somebody who embarked on the evil doing. And he was glad to do it. He had the audacity to do it, so proud to do it. The concern didn't tell him that what do I do is wrong. He did a lot of our work. This gentle guy I'm talking about, you will know his name very soon. He gathered people together and they were going and backing on Johnny to go and kill and burn and bruise whatever they can do. He got a legal backing because in those days there was legal backing for that action. There he was going, he was moving. He was, was so happy. But without knowing that that would be his last journey, he would embark upon that evil as he was about to carry out. Just of a sudden, he saw a brighter light flash him down. He was flashed down, he was hearing a voice. That is supernatural. I'm talking about supernatural deliverance. A lot flashed him down. Wow! He was on the horse because they rode us in those days because there was no automobile that time. Horses, they were the easy move, easy move uh, transportation. That's means of transportation that very time. He was just going there. The light flashed him down. Wow! Then automatically he lost his two eyes. Could not see anymore. People around him, they were afraid, all of them. They were, they were afraid, they were in anxiety. Then he first came that you, 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 you. What right as you to be persecuted and be killing people like you? Will you be able to even raise your leg on top of the tongue and, and, and smash it? Won't it be painful for you? And you are doing this thing, and you are glad to do it. You know, the power, of, the power that developed him to be on the floor. He didn't know what to do any longer. After all, he was blind, he could not do anything. Then he replied, who are you? You can see. Then the voice came again, because this is supernatural voice. Say, I am somebody. The name above all the names. You are persecuting me. Right now, you could not do that anymore anyway. This is your last time, the last time. After all, he was blind. He could not do anything any longer. He has to ask for a solution. So, okay, what can I do now? So rise up. No, there is a supernatural power that is guiding the whole universe. Even though you don't believe, can you believe all the nature that is happening around you? 
the snow comes down, the rain comes down, the sun comes down, everything's operating on its own time. They blew the wind. That's the supernatural power controlling. The same supernatural controlled this guy that was flashed down on the way to Damascus to go and persecute the, the Christians. God is omniscience and omnipresent. What did Jesus do? The name, the person flashed him down is Jesus. The name of this guy is Paul the Apostle. It was Saul at that particular moment. He said, what could I do, Lord? He mentioned law. No, I say, the supernatural. He said, well, you know, continue to go on that mission, but in a different mission. You are no longer going to perform that rubbish you have been performing. Don't the ah, fuck. Enough is enough. Then he went straight there, and God has before, you know, he said, God before me and after me. God has gone to Ananias right there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because I don't want to waste your time with the scripture. This man was Paul Apostle who was persecuting the Christians. And he had done different of our quirks. When Stephen, according to the biblical record, was preaching the gospel with signs and wonders, they captured him and they target a brutal execution by stoning to they were stoning this guy. This guy named Saul that particular period of time was carrying his garment and they stoned Stephen to death. Preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Imagine that. And the last time when Stephen was about to die, they, they opened it in a, the spiritual eyes of uh, Stephen. He saw heaven so bright. No, uh, it's not this physical body anymore. He saw heaven where the soul was going. He said, oh, Lord. People stoning me, don't worry about them, forgive them. And Paul, Saul, was the one carrying the garment. That's what the effort Saul did. After all, Saul finished that one. He went away to get permission from the priest again, from the, from the state. And they sealed it. What was, where was he going to? He was going again to Damascus to capture this Christian, to burn and bruise and do unnecessary effort on their body. But this time around, as if you follow me already, when I was thinking, Jesus flashed him down. Jesus appeared in different dimensions. Praise the Lord. When Jesus appeared in the human form, we could realize him as a human being. This time he appeared in the body of light. He was speaking that light, not of flesh and blood and water, as when we saw him. But he appeared there in flesh and water, but over there in the light form, you hear the voice. When flash saw there, said, Saul, why are you persecuting? Why are you killing the Christian? People following me. The Holy Spirit allowed Paul to speak. God said, I've been converted right away. He said, Who are you, Lord? You know, Jesus followed him down. Say, I am. Saul went in verse 5, 44. When from three, and he joining, he came near Damascus, and suddenly, I'm reading the Acts of Apostles 9 3. And suddenly, the sun ran, shine ran against me, a light from heaven. That is, and he joining, and he fell to the ground, and had a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why is he persecuting me? You see, that is the act he was carrying away. Contrary to the will of God. But this time, God changed him. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know you as you are hearing me now. We don't know the act. Whatever act we have already performed against anybody, we can change. Jesus can change us automatically and become a vessel. Look here. And in chapter 6, he trembled and told him, Lord, what can I do? And Lord said, arise, go to the city, and I've told you what to do. That is, he still continued joining in seven. He's joining, and he could not speak. He was hearing the voice, and Jesus spoke to him. So in the, in the, and the Lord said unto him, Arise, go into the street, which is called the street, and the quiver, the one Judas, one called Joel, Saul, of Tarsus, for behold, he prayed it. God sent Ananias to go to the straight street, where Saul was was, uh, was residing that particular time because an information was uh, across just to make sure that 
This thing was from God, Lord. And uh, and I just went there and prayed for Paul. And Paul's eyes were, were open. This time is a new soul. It's now Paul because he had been transformed. What am I saying? Deliverance from persecution is purely spiritual for Paul Apostle. We need deliverance from a persecution in different dimensions. Persecuting, you can analyze it. Under persecution, different types of atrocities were caused there. And Paul Apostle was delivered. And Jesus used him mightily. Even when he was in the city of Damascus, they were still afraid of him. They heard of him that he was coming here to capture, to burn. But now, Jesus has told him, I was revealing to all the prophets there that this guy you see is no more ordinary. I've turned him all around. Your life will be turned around in Jesus' name. Turn around or whatever that is problematic in your situation. As I'm preaching now, turn around for good is coming up. Because Paul got a turn around where he was going to Damascus to kill, to brew, to burn, turn around to become a disciple, disciple of Jesus Christ. In the same book of Acts, Paul said, I, I, there are apostles of Christ, but myself, I'm one of the apostles by his grace. Because he walked more than, but not that him, but by his grace. May the grace of Jesus Christ continue to be working strong in your life. In the name of Jesus, anything that is banned, be loose in the name of Jesus. Because he lives. He has a solution to all the problems. Go unto Jesus, the finisher of our salvation. See the way he crossed Paul Apostle on the way to Damascus. You are a faithful to God, you. You are a faithful to God. Check yourself. Check yourself. Work for God. Work for God in every area of your life. In the offices, on the way, on the street, wherever you are, proclaim his name. Because Paul Apostle has no other business. After his confession from persecution, to be an apostle, delivered from persecution, he journeyed all his life, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. That Jesus is law, is law. Jesus said that it's not his special because they were afraid of him. They were afraid of him. This man is a man that is coming to burn them. But Jesus said, I've turned him to be one of the faces of the gospel. If you read the house of Apostle very well, you can see Paul Apostle walk, 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 walk very well more than anybody there. But he didn't claim that he was the one who did it. He through the power of the Holy Spirit, which empowered him. We go have mercy in us in Jesus' name. And Jesus Christ is today and tomorrow and forever and everywhere. So I pray today that the anointing of God, of Jesus, will beseech each and every one of you in Jesus' name. Amen. There is power, which has power, more than other power, that the power of Jesus Christ. He can do everything. Who knew that Paul Apostle could be converted? Persecuting, taking legal, legal right to, to persecute people. That was uh, legitimate at that time, but it's no more legitimate. Right? We have the freedom of religion, where you can hear the religion freely. Two other all technologies are spread all over the world right now. But some people don't even, they don't know the benefits because it's been given so cheap. In those days, it was not so cheap because carrying a Bible is another problem. Talk less of praying or asking anything from God. You can imagine in the biblical history, Daniel was praying, only prayer, not even reading the Bible. It was a quiz of praying, asking something from the creator of the universe. And God was fighting for them. You can imagine, God fought for him because he was praying, not even reading any trust, nothing, just prayer, asking something from God. They have to gather against him and arrange against him, first acquisition against him. And God Almighty was in the process. They threw into the den of the lions, according to the biblical record, and they, he was able to get out of the den of the lion. You can see 
That is the power of God in action. The power of God in action will deliver you in any area of your difficulties. In Jesus' name, amen. I plead the blood of Jesus on you. I plead the blood of Jesus on your family. I plead the blood of Jesus on the state, on all countries and the whole world. Let the power of God come down. And the anointing continue to be flowing because he has the whole world. In his son, he has the whole world. In his son, he has the whole world. In his son, he has the whole world. In his son. It's today. It's tomorrow and forever. Why I say it's today? Because it's still operating right now. It was there. After the restoration ascension, and he said he went to heaven in the book of John, the 14th chapter 1 to 3. He said, do not let you have the trouble. Believe in God and also in him. In the Father's house are many mansions. The heavenly places, the mansion with incorruptible mansions. Not the mansions that can collapse. No, there's no collapse in that mansion over there. That's why the soul is going to live. Just accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Say, I call you to a, call to a place where I prefer for you. <clears throat> That where he is, we also be there. You know the big promise? May God have mercy on you. I know you will benefit from that promise. We will not go astray. All our preaching and sermon will not go in vain. God will empower us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I know you have been blessed tremendously during this ministration. And I pray that Lord Jesus Christ will give us to that deliverance in all our problems in his precious name. If you listen to this program, go again and listen again in the YouTube. Just type Reverend O. O. Elijah. You get me right in the YouTube there. Make sure you type the full reference, not R-E-V. R-E-V-E-N-D, O-O, Elijah. You get all this information. You can repeat and repeat and repeat information there. So people have been benefiting from prayer. Like we are not charging money. We don't announce money. This is purely to help you pray. And God will find solutions to your problems, to all our problems. So for other informations, you look at the screen there, you can see medium of information in various forms there. Yeah. The one that you like to, you can make use of it. So call for information to know the site. Call for prayers, prayer requests. The crusade, the everything, whatever you want to know about the ministry, just give us a call. God is doing wonder and miracles because he has appointed us as a festival for this assignment. And we cannot fail to continue broadcasting and preaching this gospel on the telecast as he has already approved it. So for you is to benefit tremendously from it. Don't let it go like that. Just try. Try as others try. And you benefit tremendously. I pray the anointing of Christ will continue to flow in our lives. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen and amen. Remain blessed in Jesus' name.